Hey guys, it's me Matthew, uh, of course, of course, and in this video I'm playing some Warframe. I have been having some difficulty recording normal videos. I'm still not used to it, and it, some of them take an insane amount of editing. So it's going to take me a little bit before I can start actually uploading those. So in the meantime, it's back to ASMR content as I try to get ready for all of that. But in this video, like I said, I'm going to be playing Warframe, and in an effort to start unlocking some of the newer stuff, like the very newest um, Warframe, Protea, I think, I'm going to be trying to do the deadlock protocol. I have no idea you know, anything about this besides it has a lot to do with Nathaniel. Um, there's a lot of things lately in Warframe do. Um, at least over the last couple of years, it feels heavily Corpus and Nathaniel related. Whatever. Either way, before we get into this, I would like to thank God and Infinitum Gaming for financially supporting this server. Server. I did it again. It's been days. For financially supporting this channel. Jesus Christ. I'm losing my mind. That's that's the real truth here. That's why I've been uploading. I've been fucking losing it. Um, I'm, I'm fine. I just, you know, need to get back into it again. But, uh... And by God, I don't mean God, I mean my friend who's an asshole, who just wants me to call him God, but he's paying me. So, <laughs> you know, I can only complain so much. If you're interested in financially supporting this channel, you can check the blue join button down below, or you can check the description for links to my Discord server, my Teespring store, my Twitch channel, or my Patreon page. I think those are all the links that I have down there, you know. I might have more in the description, I might not. And now it's saying, okay, let's just begin. You play pop-up happened, so was not able to click on begin yet? 7-4, 7 against, cast and recast seven times. Okay. So it is decided the fleet has been retrofitted and redeployed to begin at once. Are these going to be railjack missions? That'd be cool. New lanes, trawling for old things. By profit and void, be, uh, by the blessed handless founder. Jesus. We hereby invoke the deadlock protocol. Neat. Now I'm actually... Okay, I clicked begin. So I'm guessing that was just the cutscene. And now I have to go to... I'm picking Sarn because I feel like it would be... Uh, the... Easiest. I mean, she's a very reliable Warframe. I got the Fulman, because very reliable weapon. I don't know why I have the Prisma Twin Gremlins, honestly. I, I might want to switch that out, actually. I just kind of pick them, because why not? But if I have the Fulman, then it doesn't really matter. Um, it might be better just to take a you know, Mimara Detrin. That is specifically for Anti-Corpus right now. And the cost assist because I found a really nice build for it. And it's just, it's strong. It's not the strongest, of course, but it's strong. I'm not, you know, trying to get the strongest anything. I'm just trying to, you know, go along with it. And it's this one again the Redeemer Abyss of Skin Hydra. And, uh, oh my goodness, I will have to do this for the Eroken Reactor. Actually, is that for frames? It might be. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, here's the quest log. Decipher the deadlock. Venus. Please tell me this is not going to be an Arcwing mission. They've improved them a little bit. But Arcwings still suck. Okay, good.
Okay, so to no opponent capture enemy towers. I'm doing this by myself. Awesome. Hopefully I can do this as Sarn, unpracticed and not the, as ready as I could be. That's one captured. So there's only two points here. That's good. Hey Jojo. Cat's walking around like an old man. Meow. What's up, Jojo? Oh shit. No, you don't. Okay, so far this seems pretty easy. Doesn't look like anyone's trying to capture A yet. So far so good. And uh, good thing I brought my cat with me. Gricotta. Is that a separate clone? Does it make its own clone or something? I love the Fullman, it's so powerful. See, I don't see anyone going for A at all. Yeah, uh, the Malt is definitely going to be very useful. I never use this ability. Really? Alright, there's two more over there. Oh, it's gonna be wave based, I forgot. Okay, I gotta recapture them. Oh well, two more times. At least it's just these two. It's good. It's probably going to get more difficult, but hopefully not too much more difficult. Not that it's all that difficult right now, but I'd prefer if it just wasn't difficult at all. You know, yeah, some more videos. It's best if I can just uh, enjoy myself and not have to try too hard. Are they going to come for this side this time, or is it going to be another focus over here? So far it's looking like another focus over here, maybe. Or not. No. Mm, there's my molts. That one was kind of going in that direction. I wonder if this mission changes if you have other players with you. It might. I haven't really used my Mara Detrin yet. Get away from that console. Okay, I feel like my arm Detrin used to be stronger. Well, I suppose I don't have my ribbon on, so I've been trying to reroll that to something worthwhile. So I have a Mara Detrin ribbon, but I've been rerolling it constantly, and it wants to keep giving me crit chance, which is absolutely useless on a Mara Detrin. It's a shame that you know it's even possible to get absolutely useless stats for certain weapons, but you know. I'm just gonna encourage you to play the game and farm shit somehow. Even though there's a million, million things to farm in this game. Oh, 
All right, I feel like the Marnetron might be more useful in instances where there are a lot of nearby enemies uh, that are pretty tanky. It's like the Fullman's doing just fine. Although, you know, if I wanted to use a multiple, I probably shouldn't have used, probably shouldn't have taken the Fullman because it's just that good of a weapon. If you want one weapon that lasts you pretty much the entire game, the Fullman. It's got infinite ammo, and it switches between an assault rifle and a shotgun, and it's very powerful. It's Wisp's signature weapon that she was released with. I think the second um, out of the only two that I've ever bought with Platinum um, as the pack. Oh wow, this is the first time they go for A. Um, but yeah, I've bought Korra and Wisp. I don't know what compelled me to get Korra at the time. I think it's because her abilities look cooler than they actually felt uh, when she was released, although I think she got a buff. Um, Although I never play her. I probably should. Maybe I could play her this after this. Ah, jeez. Sorry about that. Don't really control how they... If they flashbang me or not. A great path, and more importantly, his air. I get so lost with all of the um, the characters and stuff in this. I never really pay attention to the lore. So I know there's Nathaniel. There's like Alad V or Alad Five or whatever. Am I am I thinking that right? Um, I thought one of them like was a bad guy, and then he came to our side. Nathaniel's the really bad one, but the other one created Valkyrie, I think. Yeah, they're, they're, those are two different people, yeah. Or two different NPCs. Uh, let's see here, Korra. I don't think my Korra fashion frames ever really went well. They're always kind of meh. Because, I don't know, I'm just not good at... Uh, it takes me a while to make a good fashion frame, and I really just... This one's alright, but... I don't know, it's... It's a little difficult to find good colors on this character. I could try this color scheme. Part fashion frame. You gotta in this game. If you're not trying to fashion frame, then what are you doing playing Warframe? Like, seriously. Okay. I hate how there's like two colors. Sometimes it's nice on like very select few warframes, but most of the time it just gets in the way. That's okay. Purple and white. Black, white, and purple. The seafoam green and gold and gray is nice but it's a little too much. That's the thing with Korra, is that all of it just becomes too much. I know she just got this, which honestly, it's kinda overdone. I like it, but it's, it's overdone. Um, I wonder what that would look like with the other color combos. Okay, that actually looks pretty nice. I'd probably change it a little bit, but succulent jade. Why does she have a beehive booty? What even is that? Digital extremes. What is wrong with you? And why is the cost just like just fucking? I don't even. What the fuck? All right, all right. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see any of that. 
I'm going to try one more color scheme here. It's black, black, light blue, light blue, pink, pink. It's what I have on my um, Sarn. So I, I personally think as tacky and cheesy as it might be, I just, I love the, uh, the bright kind of 80s color scheme going on there, but uh, that does not look good. Oof. The, the blue is just too much. Maybe one of them could be blue, this one, but at the same time, it's perfect for like a metallic color. See, I went from actually doing a quest to just fashion framing. Rose gold. Oh shit, I just got rid of a color. Oh fuck. I hate it when that happens. I don't think I can like control Z. Yeah, god damn it. Now I don't know what color that was. I lost it for all time. Not really, but. Hmm. I can probably find it if I go to Valkyrie. Because that is the one set. This is like the one uh, appearance thing that I uh, copied from someone and have not gotten rid of. I had to make it, I had to like figure it out myself, but I love it. Okay, maybe it was different color. Maybe it wasn't from the set that I just kind of added to. I don't know what I removed there. It's not that big of a deal now, is it? Accents. I think it was kind of like a weaker version of this, maybe, or a stronger version. I don't know. But I think that's pretty nice. Um, primary color. Black works well, although maybe a deep red or purple. No. Oof, that's too bright. What's the problem with Korra? Is that it's like a super glossy spandex or something. I don't know what's going on. But everything on her is just extremely bright and shiny. Um, I need to get rid of the other colors before I figure this out. Before I figure this one out. Um... All right, I know, I know I'm spending too much time fashion framing, aren't I? But I love it. I'll go with that red. And then maybe I could go with like a gray here. Maybe a light, like a bluish gray. Hmm, where's a good blue gray color that I own? over here. Oops, that's not the one that I wanted. I wanted this one. That's interesting. I don't hate it. I don't love it. That's for damn sure. Um, what a missive fits well. Kind of uh, medium red. Yes, medium red. That's alright. I mean, I think I'm gonna stick with the purple one. Yep, all this, all that trouble, I stick with the purple one. I could take her signature weapon. The Hystrix. So many different pistol skins now. Oof. Oh well, it's not like this really matters. I have other weapons. Alrighty then. Visit Utico in Fortuna. Fortuna. Yeah, of course. They have to keep room 69 alive. You can't let that shit die. That's a crime. It's gotta live on forever. 
skin. This is a little boring, but eh. you to go, you to go, where's you to go? Briefing. Neff's making a succession play. Sumper so, thinks he can prove he's a sprog of noble descent. No idea how. Parvos was assassinated before any of us were in itch. Biz. Look familiar, Outworlder. Warframe, yes, but one of a kind. Protea, legend says she was built specifically for and assigned and assigned to one Parvos Granum. Part of a deal, Granum got something, something. He had real power, blah, blah, blah. Our ear inside this is an if detective and a lead on Protea's whereabouts. Protea. Protean traces are calling them. Granum, the original tax man, killed when someone, a board member, most likely sabotaged the void drive of his personal transport. Neff wants gene proof, but there's nothing left to scan. And yet, so they believe they found Granum's Warframe body bodyguard, who was with Granum when the void drive went critical. So, who's to say what's true? Sure, I'll try to figure out what's going on. Yep, I'm totally gonna really give a shit about that. Yep. Alright, return to Orbiter. That was all I had to do. Hopefully they keep uh, room 69 alive. And now it's time to... Uh, they run a little 12 to 15... I don't get it. I don't have any other information on this one. So I'm going in blind. And we'll see what happens here. Faction Corpus assignment quest. Volunteers. Um, that doesn't look like Gricotta. Fin oh, that's Venari. Oh, I was wondering. It's like, that looks like an old design of mine. I was like, that was back when I was trying to do the, uh, really shitty Burning Crusade color palette. Alright. You know what? It'd be nice if I read my abilities. Whip Claw. Oof. Oh no, do I not have this built out at all? I might not actually have any mods on Korra. That's the one thing that I wanted to check, and I didn't check. I'm just going to make sure that uh, Venari is set to healing. Story is... Parvos was missing his left hand. See if you can. Oh boy, what's going on now? Volunteer oh, into position. Reason to get our next volunteer into position. Defend the system should be pretty easy. Actually, I might, you know, she might be, uh, she might have mods on. Never mind. 
Thought maybe I didn't based on the damage, but seems like I do, and not bad at that. The problems with this pistol is that it feels like the clip is too small and it doesn't do enough damage. I mean, it's killing these weak enemies, but. Like, it's got a neat novel gimmick to it. But, you know, yet again, if it's like a gimmick, it doesn't feel all that useful. I stopped shooting it. I'm pretty sure people have been able to make like a super powerful whiplash build. Um, at least from what I remember reading. But I don't remember exactly. I don't know how they did it. Nothing to do with remembering. I just never looked into a build for it because I don't play Korra. All right, find the protein, uh, protein sensor, protein, whatever. Looking for the sensor. Poor gunk droid. He didn't deserve that. Still left hand. Weird. Oh wait, I'm supposed to defend that. What the hell if I actually paid attention to what I was supposed to do? missions are, how many there are. I didn't look through the entire walkthrough, just how to begin the quest, and it was just go to your codex. So I went to my codex and I started the quest. And that's about all I know. I think I read something about the backstory of Protea just a little bit, but not much. Protea, Protea, however the fuck you want to pronounce it. Oh, hello. Alright, console defended. It's real, it's real. Oh, oh boy. What, this? what are we looking at? Is this finally going to be another, like, Warframe fight? Because that's one thing that this game lacks, is, like, really good fights. It's nothing but hack and slash. I miss having those little relay fights with the Warframes. I think I can go back and do them, but there's no point. I can one-shot all of them now. At least as far as I remember. I miss the tier-based climbing progression of that. Where you, you know, you beat that relay defender you know, you're getting better at the game, you're getting stronger, you're getting more gear, and then it just flatlines. It's like, oh, now I just farm for everything. It's still enjoyable, but, you know, a little disappointing. Kind of like Korra. 
to me at least. I want a Naros Prime, but for now I have to stick with just regular Naros. Do all these frames that I only play a select few. Like Wisp. Um, Octavia. Octavia. I don't really know who to play, although it is 30 minutes in. So maybe I should stop. You know, I could make these videos longer, but I'm already recording this pretty late, and uh, honestly, I should be getting to bed uh, so that I have a chance to edit and record tomorrow morning. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video relaxing and enjoyable and all that good stuff, and I hope to see you in the next one. Good night, and uh, bye-bye.